<laughs> hey guys, what's up? My name's JP. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so fucking tired. Your shit's uninspired. You keep saying true to the known you was. Okay, so I'm doing a video today. Uh, actually, I want to do this thing kind of like a weekly kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna be calling it just some thoughts. We're just gonna be talking about some thoughts that we have in our minds. You know, hopefully you guys will find it interesting. Oh, and actually, um, just some moment ago, Diana tried pranking me. So, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say if it was a success or a fail. So make sure you guys watch that video. It's gonna be like up here probably somewhere there, or uh, I don't know which. Oh, and by the way, guys, if people we know are watching this and I tell them <coughs> I stopped smoking, I did stop smoking. This is like my second out of like how many days? No, my third in like a week or something or five days. That doesn't really mean you stop. Yeah, I didn't. Like I was trying to stop fully, but. I couldn't. Like I just couldn't. But what? I used to smoke ten times a day. The fact it's that I only smoke three times a week now. It's actually a pretty good like progress kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is how we started from smoking, yeah, and yeah. this is how the, uh, this weekly video yeah, yeah, came yeah. to mind. So like, don't think that I'm being rude by smoking or something. That's and she has an ex she has an excuse because she has been studying pretty hard. And then what was it one of the times you like texted me saying like, oh, you can't take it or something like that. You really need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like the stress was like too much. She had like exams like, <clears throat> day after day. Yeah. Something like that. Like she had exams on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But don't smoke, guys. It's no, really don't smoke, bad. Don't smoke. Give me nothing. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, on to the first topic. Um, actually, I'm not gonna lie. We've done something like this before, but you know, the lighting was kind of like bad, so I wanted to redo it. And one of the topics we talked about in that video was, do you think weed is a drug? No, 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 weed is a drug. Well, so change it. Do you think weed should be legalized? Like smoking. Well, smoking is a drug, alcohol is a drug. So. Wait, how is smoking a drug? Because um, a drug is anything that could make you addicted. Right. The smoking contains nicotine that most people find addicting. So okay. in a sense, smoke, tobacco is a drug, but not like hardcore, like heroin, cocaine, you know. Yeah, those, those kind of drugs. Alcohol is a drug. So just anything. That can cause you to be addicted. addicted. Is a drug. Yeah, I think like I'm not, okay. you know. But when the original like talk that we had, you we were talking about is it a drug, and I you said it was. I was saying not really, but in the you know this like technical way mm -hmm. it is. Why do you think it's I not was a drug? I was saying not really because I feel like nowadays it's just like as common as like drinking alcohol kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's, but you can't get it as commonly as alcohol because ah, some countries don't legalize it. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know what I mean? So if you go to like Vancouver or like Amsterdam, you can get it in the same way they can get alcohol. So yeah. In that kind of sense, for me, it's not a drug. So yeah. what's your definition of a drug? When you say drug, I think about, like, you know, like, kind of those hardcore drugs. I think about, like, cocaine, meth, ecstasy. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, those kind of things. But I don't know, this, I don't know why weed is just, like, Do you think because me. weed is just, like, because there's, like, different levels of drugs, like, low, moderate, and high. I'd say the low category would be, like, cigarettes and alcohol. That would be low, but I feel like weed would be in the, the middle. middle, moderate. I think ecstasy would be in the middle, like some. Yeah, you'd space. say that because you yeah. love taking that so much. Aren't you? <laughs> no, yeah. I've never taken one in my life. <laughs> No, of a guilty I, person. no, honestly, I've never taken. <coughs> I'd say it's moderate because, like, you know, there's different colors and stuff. There you know is. what? Yeah, there's different colors, like blue, pink, green, yellow, different types. Oh yeah, you're the expert. No, I'm not. <laughs> For me, if you want to take drugs, as long as you're at that legal age, 18 or 21, do it. Because a science background, um, at the age of 18, that's when part of your brain has fully developed. Oh, you're telling me? Yeah, like this, so yeah. Like... So basically, I heard this from Dr. Mike. Like the reason why tobacco and alcohol are only legal when you reach 18 is because or 21 in some countries or 21 yeah is because once you're under 18 this part of their brain hasn't fully been developed yet so say a 15 year old started smoking the how do you say it? how they react to it like their addictiveness would be greater than that of an 18 year old so for example if a 15 year old started smoking they like it they're gonna get addicted to it so much more, more than okay. say a 19 year old started smoking like okay I like it or I don't like it but they'll have the right mindset to be yeah, like yeah. okay I want to keep going once you reach 18 or 21 if you want to do you know um recreational she's not, drugs. She's, not con she's not like saying you guys should I'm just saying once you're at the right age go ahead as long as you and in a way you're more mm. like responsible at that yeah age. exactly yeah because yeah, you have more responsibilities yeah life. yeah We're not saying that you should 
No, or not. Any of that shit. Every action you make has consequences. Mm -hmm. and, and you have to face it. To be honest, okay, like I don't know if I should be saying it out loud, but like I know this person who was doing ecstasy, right? And I was shit. like, I, yeah, I'll be honest, like I was as well. Don't arrest me because I'm clean now. You can taste my taste my urine. <laughs> You can test my urine like I'm completely Taste. like you. Wow. <laughs> Kenky. <laughs> Ew. They said that if you want to try a new drug, you have to research it and you have to see the level, like I said, the level of it and uh, like how high you can get okay. and like how to take it. Because like some people, the reason why most people OD is because say they're trying a new drug like, like cocaine or something. They sniff it or whatever they do. They're like, oh, I don't feel anything. So okay. they put more and more and more oh, until they OD. But like okay. it needs time to see. I don't know if this is allowed on YouTube. I really don't know if this is allowed, but yeah, like like I said, just educate yourself. It's it's on the internet. You can do whatever you want, right? And the vaping as well. We're talking about vaping as well. Okay, what about I heard this this thing where vaping targets people that are smokers and want to quit. Okay. But like in nowadays, like young kids want to try vaping because they think, oh, it's harmless, you know, like oh, everyone's of smoking, doing it. Right? Yeah. Okay. No, but young people that didn't even start smoking, mm, yeah, they yeah, yeah. buy vape and they, oh, it's so good, it's so cool, blah blah. And then from the vaping, they move into smoking. Okay. So the vaping company, their target is for people who wants to quit smoking. But yeah, since, yeah. Like it's like it's kind of reversed now. Like young yeah, people yeah, yeah. want to try vaping, and then more people start um, yeah, smoking. Yeah. That's why I'm just like young kids. Especially under 18, just try to try to educate yourself. That's all I'm saying. Stop being stupid. <clears throat> <laughs> it's it's not just drugs, it's sex as well. Like yeah, sex, yeah, 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 like sex. educate yeah. yourself, you know? Yeah, I mean like you know, there's like always sex education, mm -hmm. like in sex ed in like every school. And they don't have as much similar topics about like drugs. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, stuff, yeah. Which they is, should. Which I think they should. Yeah. Because like with sex they educate you about like, you know, contraceptives. How to put and, a like, condom. You know, the diseases of like STIs and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Wait, this <laughs> no. The diseases, diseases of STI, that doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, STIs that you can like contract. Yeah. But most Catholic schools, they don't have sex ed. Oh, really? Yeah, because like in Christianity, you have to wait until marriage. Okay. So, like, what's the point of teaching sex education if you're not even gonna have sex? And I don't agree with that. I actually saw this thing like a while back where, um, actually, this was back when, I'm not gonna name, I'm gonna name her. Because mm -hmm. she was like, oh, I wanna wait till marriage and all that shit, right? So then I was like online looking up shit, right? It's like, oh, my girlfriend wants to wait until marriage and all that shit. <laughs> what should I do? I'm sexually frustrated and all that kind of shit. Wank! And then they were saying that, you, I don't know, like, you know, talk with her or whatever. And then they were saying in their opinion that sex before marriage is kind of important because you get to like, you know, see if you guys are sexually compatible mm. or not. Mm. Like, you know, because one person could be more sexually driven mm -hmm. and the other person wouldn't be, mm -hmm. you know? So that would result to like complications in the relationship after it's the true. marriage. It's you know, true, that, yeah. And then that will like lead to like divorces and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, so. No, I think nowadays young people don't frown upon having sex before marriage. I know people having sex at the age of 13. Not just having you sex, did. like, not me. <laughs> I know a lot of people, not even just sex, just like sexual things, like, you know, using other shit using and all other that. methods, we're not yeah. gonna get into them. But using other methods. PG. Yeah, using other like you know shit to kind of just explore. Okay. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's completely fine. But like I'm not I'm not saying, oh you people that want to wait until marriage, you have to have sex because you need to see if you're sexually compatible. We're not saying that. We're just yeah. like you know now like the world has become super sensitive. But like the world has become so what is it? Explorative. That's sex and drugs, but make sure you're at the right age and the right mindset. Always deal with the consequences, because, you know, for drugs, you could get too addicted or even die, and then with sex... Whoa, that was so... <laughs> that was from zero to one. There's consequences like dying. <laughs> With like sex, not only just getting like a person pregnant, like you could also get something else from the person, like yeah. STIs. Yeah, unplanned so. pregnancy isn't the worst thing. But like social media makes it appear as if pregnancy is the worst thing that could happen when you have like sexual intercourse with someone. Really? And I hate, yeah, like you know those memes like, oh, like um, I didn't get my period for this amount of time. Oh, and then when I finally get my period and then they have this really, really happy faces, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, honestly, like yeah. pregnancy isn't the worst thing. You know what? You remind that, that like topic reminded me of mm -hmm. that post you saw on Facebook. Oh, I, I, I'm like so thankful I didn't swallow you. Yeah. <laughs> 
So hope you guys like the topic to talk about. I'm gonna try making this like kind of like a weekly thing. So hope you guys like the video. Share, like, and subscribe. And watch out for Diana's prank video. <laughs> prank. <laughs> prank video. Oh, by the way, disclaimer: we're not like educated on like sex, drugs, and stuff like, like that. Like very educated. Like we're just yeah. talking about like our opinions and all that kind of stuff. So if you disagree with our opinions or with the things we talked about, don't. It's your life, bitch. Don't Get hate us the for internet, it. If you're <laughs> easily offended. Holy shit. Okay, well, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.